Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is uh, still module number four and we're discussing shear and moment equations and diagram. But for this uh, video, we're going to focus now on drawing our shear and moment diagram using the area method. Okay, so actually this is no longer new to us because we're, um, we're already using the equation. So let's have a short recap. Isn't it? That the derivative of shear with respect to x is equivalent to w, okay? So if we are going to play with our equation, the change in shear is equivalent to the integral of w dx, okay? So shear 2 minus shear 1 is equivalent to w x. Okay, so we will be using this equation. Next would be the derivative of moment with respect to x is equivalent to the shear. So delta m is equivalent to the integral or the change in the moment is equivalent to the integral of shear dx. And that would be m2 minus m1 is equivalent to shear times x so we will be using this equation okay so going back from our first example we have here our load diagram so we have here an upward force of 18 kilonewtons now we will now apply our uh, equation so is there any load between point a and point b okay so there is none so, uh, V2 minus V1 is equivalent to 0 at any distance from point A to point B. Okay? So, kahit na multiply mo yan, let's say at distance X, it will still be 0. So, we have 18 plus, if it is pointing upwards, minus if it is pointing downwards. But we have 0. 18 minus 0 or 18 plus 0 is still 18. So, it will just go straight line up to point B. So, from point B, you have a downward force of negative 14. So, 18 minus 14, that would be 4. Okay? Now, again, using the same principle, shear 2 minus shear 1 is equivalent to Wx. Do we have any load in between point B and point C? There is none. So, W is still zero at any distance it will still be zero so that will still be a straight line so from uh, positive four we have a downward force of 28 so that is four minus 28 that would be negative 24 so using this equation again using that equation is there any load in between uh in between zero uh, in between c to d there is none. So again, shear is 0. So 24 straight line. Then it will go back to 0 because you have here a positive 24 and that would go back to 0. Now for the moment, we have shear times x. Okay, so shear times x. So that would be m2 minus m1 at x is equivalent to 0, so 0, start tayo dito. x is equivalent to 0, we have m2 minus m1, we have uh, x, uh, shear, ano yung shear natin at that point? We have 18, so 18 minus, or no, 18 times 0, so that is 0, so 0 tayo dito. Now, at x is equivalent to 2, m2 minus m1 is equivalent to 18 times 2 and that is 36 okay and that is 36 so since this is a first degree this would be a zero degree this would be a first degree so that is a straight line 0 to 36 now if you look closely it is simply an area the area of seg uh, of the shear from segment a to b is 18 
times 2. And that is 36. Tama ba? Then we have 4. 4 times a distance of 3. 4, 8, 12. So 36 plus 12 is 48. Then you have here negative 24 times 2. And that is negative 48. So, positive 48 minus 48 is 0. So, if you're going to observe closely, it is simply the area, the area of the preceding diagram. Okay? So, let's try to apply that using an example here. So, we have here a simply supported beam. We have a pin at A and we have a roller at E. And we have a downward force of 50 kN and a moment of 40 kN meter at distance D. So the first thing we need to do is to draw the free body diagram of the reaction. So since this is pin, I know that I have two reactions. That is a vertical and this is a horizontal. And since this is a roller, I know that I only have one reaction and that would be E vertical. So summation of moment with respect to, let's say, A is equivalent to zero. All forces that are going to rotate clockwise should be positive. What are the forces? I have 30 times a lever arm of 4 rotating in a clockwise, so that's positive. And I have a moment rotating counterclockwise with respect to A. So that would be minus 30 minus A vertical because it will be rotating in a counterclockwise manner, times a lever arm of 10. And that is equivalent to 0. Therefore, E vertical is equivalent to, uh, there's a correction. We have here the uh, moment as 40, so that is not 30, that is 40. And it is rotating clockwise and uh, clockwise positive. So this is also uh, 40. Okay. Therefore, E vertical is equivalent to 16 kilo newtons. Next, summation of forces vertical is equivalent to zero. All forces pointing upwards should be positive. So I have here a vertical minus 30 plus E vertical, which is 16, is equivalent to zero. So this is four, negative 14, transpose that to the other side of the equation. Therefore, A vertical is equivalent to 14 kilo newtons. Okay, so we're now ready to draw our shear and moment diagram. So at point A, I have here from zero, it has, a, it has an upward force of 14 kilo newton. So zero, it will go up to 14. So uh, shear AB. So, shear AB is equivalent to 14 minus, is there any load in between point A to point B? So, that is 0 times a distance of 4 and that is still 14. So, the shear from point A to point B is 14. So, walang nagbago. Okay. Next, from 14, we have a downward force of 30. So, 14... So that is negative for, uh, for 14 minus uh, 30, that is negative 16. So the shear at B is equivalent to 14 minus 30 is equivalent to negative 16. So from positive 14 going down to negative 16. Okay, so shear BC is equivalent to negative 16 minus do we have a load in between point b to point d we have zero times a distance of three and that is still negative 16. so i'll just draw a straight line going to point d okay then at point d so we have here shear uh cd so uh no that's shear ce Okay, so negative 16 minus 0 times a distance of 3 is still negative 16. So that would be a straight line again. Okay, now shear E is equivalent to negative 16 
plus 16, which is an upward force, and that is 0. So it will go back to 0. So this is my shear diagram. Okay. So this is 0 degree, 0 degree, 0 degree. Okay, next would be the moment diagram. So for the moment diagram, again, it will also be the same. I'll be using the area method. So for that, since this is a simply supported beam, there will be no moment at the support. So we have here the shear. And this time we will be having our moment. So moment at A is equivalent to 0. So moment AB is equivalent to 0. Since it is positive, it is plus. Positive, nasa taas yung ng axis natin. So plus 14 times a distance of uh, 4. So 14 times 4 is 56. So that is 56 kilo newton meter so zero going up to 56 so that is 56 okay so this time we have our sh uh, shear diagram below our axis so they are negative so iso subtract natin okay so pag isahin na natin itong dalawang segment it would be 16 so, moment uh, BC, BE is equivalent to 56 minus 16 times a distance of uh, 6. And that is equivalent to, ah, no, 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 no. Meron pala tayong moment dito, 40. Okay? So, ito lang, dito lang tayo. So, we have here 56 malito 56 times 3 so let us correct that 56 minus 16 times 3 and that is equivalent to 8 So, from here, going down to here. So, 8 lang siya. Okay? And we have a 40 kilonewton pound, ah, 40 kilonewton meter. And it is positive kasi clockwise siya. So, from, four, uh, from, this is 8. From 8 plus 40, this would be 48 going up. So, that is 48. Okay? So, that is, pakita natin through uh, solution. M, uh, D is equivalent to, M, D is equivalent to 8 plus 40 is equivalent to 48. Now, moment D, E is equivalent to 48. Now, our shear diagram is below our axis. So, that would be negative uh, 16 minus 16 times a distance of 3 and that should be 0 so if we co connect natin it will still be a straight line so this is first degree first degree first degree 0 0 0 degree so this is my shear diagram this is my moment diagram okay Now, if you want to get the slope, okay, kung gusto natin kunin yung slope, uh, the shear, uh, the derivative of shear with respect to dx is equivalent to w, and that is equivalent to 0. So, that's the slope is equivalent to 0, okay? Here, ano yung slope natin dito? And ano rin yung slope natin dito? And ano rin yung slope natin dito? Okay? So, the slope there 
is equivalent to the derivative of the moment with respect to x is equivalent to the slope. Ano yung uh, shear natin dito? Ang shear natin dito is uh, 14. So, this is 14 is to 1. Then, dito ang shear naman natin. The derivative of moment with respect to x is equivalent to the shear here is negative 16. So, that is why it is pointing downwards. So, we have here 16 is to 1. Then, here our uh, slope is 48. So, that is... The derivative of moment with respect to x is equivalent to negative 48, negative 16. So, we have here 48 is to 1. And therefore, that is our shear and moment diagram.